We're ready because we have heat and AC. Oh! She drew this! What? Good afternoon. Well, right after afternoon, right? Yeah. Right. So the kids woke up really, really, really late today. This is probably their last day to wake up late. And as you can tell, there's a lot of noise. They already ate breakfast, brunch, and they're going to eat lunch. We're making it happen. It's uh, last day, so they get what they want, basically. I think they're going to have my famous ziti for dinner. But first, we have to eat the leftovers. Yes. This is leftovers. We still have the beans and rice and that. All the noise is coming from the kettle. We have pork chops with barbecue seasoning cooking. So we're going to eat all that for lunch. And I still have to select the uh, dinner meat. But I'm pretty sure they're just going to have ziti and that type of meat that they choose. They love it. It's their favorite. They like it more than anything else that they've told me. And we're going to put new types of cheese that we got in the store for them. Sounds great. Last day, not necessarily something fancy, just fun. They do have fun eating the foods that they love. They actually enjoy food, so we're very grateful for that. I've seen a lot of my friends and their kids, every time I would uh, dine with them, they didn't really enjoy many types of food, even though everything was great on the table. And I'm the kind of person that eats everything, so I'm very grateful that my kids eat everything as well. And in the meantime, Missy here doing some work, yeah. paperwork. Paperwork. That happens every so often in the year? Every four months. You have to do, if you're self-employed, you have to do paperwork every four months. Mm hmm So, that's fun. Making mommy friends. That making a what? Friends. This oh. is Dave. This is Pat. What is it? This is Dave. And this is... Oh, you gave him names. Yeah. Do they have smiley faces? Can I see? This is a happy Smiley. mouth, this is the sad mouth. Nice. We were trying to capitalize on all the biking days and whatnot and family out days while the sun was out. But we're reaching this point in Florida that it's my third, like technically third year coming up on this third year. The weather seems to come very late. So if you know it's gonna be cold like December, it's actually January-ish here. So we had a few cold days, many rain days, but it's cold again today and cloudy and it's just flip floppity. So we took as many days as we could out and we're basically prepping for the cold because now it gets cold like 50s. The house itself gets cold. We're ready because we have heat and AC. Yeah, so we got the yard and everything prepared. Um, we do have some problems in the yard. One of them is the Jeep. It's still got these little issues. It's, as Andrea calls it, it's $200-ing us to death, little by little. It's true. It's also a much older Jeep. What happens is I have to replace a lot of the old parts that give away. And it causes electrical problems that are not critical, but are extremely annoying and make it not a fun thing to drive. Bless you for Andrea. So Raphael helps me out in the yard while I do the car work. There are a couple parts that I might need to buy. And like I said, I don't like working in the heat. So the winter is actually a very good time to fix those things permanently. And until then, bless you. Our daily driver is the old Grand Marquis, which Andrea loves. And I don't mind driving an older car. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. I've driven new cars, old cars. Brand new, modded, it's all the same to me. I mean, I enjoy it, every single one of them. Surely. And like every good winter, everything just uh, cracks and breaks. So Andrea got us a new shower head that we already used. I had to unravel the whole, my whole system here had to be unraveled and redone as well. That is also something I'm very grateful for. Everything is breaking just in time for me to fix it before it gets too hot again. I spend a couple hours outside here a day getting things done. It's all good. What are you getting done? You learning how to ride a bike? I have a broken tooth. It's not a broken tooth. It's just going to come off very soon. It's hanging. Let's see it. How fast can you go? Safely. I'm back. Go ahead. Oh, it smells good in there. That must mean I have to flip the flip the uh, pork chops. All right, let's go, Raphael. You're okay. helping me cook.
Okay, so I'm just gonna go turn in these papers, let them deal with it. The person that we had last year actually got all of our taxes wrong. Zeb was wrong, my brother was wrong, and we were wrong. <laughs> all of them were wrong, so we are not going back there. We're gonna go to a different person and figure this out. Uh, it's not too hard for what we do. It's kind of self-explanatory with the taxes and stuff. So <sighs> yeah, I'm so thankful that we're able to like get this done now and not have to wait until April. <laughs> I have been keeping track of everything. It's just so much easier when you're when you're up to date on things and you don't have to search for stuff. You know what I mean? If you do it like well we have to do it four times a year. So if if like you're doing it and you're keeping track with of everything while you go, it makes it so much easier. And that's something that I have learned just this past year. Don't wait until the last day and then have to gather all the stuff because you're going to forget something. So as soon as it happens, as soon as you have something happen with your job, write it down, keep a record, you know, everything just everything. It's been good for me because I am so disorganized and my head is like everywhere. My thoughts are just everywhere and it's very hard for me to keep my attention on something for very long and it hurts when when it's hard for me. It hurts my brain. It's been really good to like take it one day at a time and just keep up with stuff and that is something that I want to do with my house as well. I want to have some type of routine where I know like every Thursday my house is impeccably clean for you know we don't show it because I don't want people to know these kids but we have kids over all the time it's almost becoming a problem like I'm almost gonna ask not for them not like all the time but I would like my house to be clean you know when people do show up so we are going to go and just drop these papers off right now and uh, see what we can get into you want to get into something nope Nope. Not today. Oh, look at all the birdies. They're so pretty. So we're at Lowe's right now. We're outside, so they belong here. Right? We're making a nest. Making something for the kids. And finishing what we started a long time ago. I just got a saw blade to cut the stuff down. I need some white rock now to finish off our steps. All right, so we had to put some in the other, like under the seat, uh, but we got some play sand. We got some flea killer for the yard, yard spray. I didn't want to go that route, but I have to. I got some plant food, a few more stepping stones, and the rock. This is going to get transformed for good. I think my plant is looking pretty bad, so I'm going to put some plant food on it. And also our azalea. And this plant, like nothing grows over here, and I don't know if this is like toxic out or whatever. Isn't that beautiful? It's from Shannon. I was supposed to cut it back, but it was growing, and I felt like, oh, I can't cut it. But, I mean, it's still growing. I want it to get big and bushy. This is for, this is Raphael's plant. And this didn't bloom as much as it should have this year, so hopefully that plant food will help it out. This is a motion detector light that I had in my closet. I have to change the batteries for it. It's, it's kind of really weak. I don't have a light in my closet, so I do have some push lights in there. There's no lighting option for the closet, so. I just have to change the batteries out and it's this type. Okay, as you can see, like you would need probably three of them across the ceiling. It screws in or you can 3M it. I'll probably just 3M it back on there. But it's motion detector so when I open the closet it can turn on. But I can have an on off switch as well. So I think I paid $10 for this. The connection of the batteries isn't very good because it kind of rotted in there. I just got this when we first moved here and this is the first time I've changed batteries. It's been not working for probably a year. Hey guys, so we're home. I have cards here that 
got overlooked because they were on the counter. We didn't do them with the P.O. box opening because I didn't want them to get lost, so I put them on the counter. Hello. The camera came on, so she ran over here. She thought it was her time. Her time to shine. I want to go ahead and open these right now. Thank you guys so very much. Okay, I'm trusting Abigail. I'm trusting. All right. This is from Darla Matthews. Yeah. She's been a friend for a very long time. First vlog. Long time. Wow. 13 years in a row. Wow. She's cinematographer, guys, okay? All right. Dear fully living family, at the holidays, wishing you joy that celebrates, hope that shines, and peace that lasts. Sending holiday joy from Ohio. Thank you very much. From Ohio. Darla Matthews, thank you very much. A very, very long time subscriber. This is from Angie and Jude Butler. Angie and Jude yes, Butler. Yes, I'm sorry, like, sorry it was sent like a month ago. What is, what? This is, oh, this is my merry face. It's a grumpy cat. <laughs> Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Please tell your mom and dad and brother and Zeb Merry Christmas also. Take care and give hugs to Rudy and Kitty. Rudy and Kitty. Be as merry as you want to be this Christmas. Love Angie and Jude. Thank you very much. And I love how you date the cards. My mom dates the cards too so we can know what year it came from. I Thank like you it. very much Angie and Jude. Am I doing it right? Yeah, she's just wobbling the camera around like okay. she's nervous. All right, don't wobble the camera. I gotta be steady. This one is from Patricia Cox. Who's she? Our friend. Long time subscriber. Happy holidays. It's a Santa card. Probably must be opened on 25th. That's right. Andrea, Hadar, Raphael, Abigail, Rudy, and Kitty. Wishing you all a very happy and healthy Christmas and New Year. May 2022 be a prosperous year. Hope all your hard work pays off. I hope so too. Your number one sub, Pat. Have yourself a little merry, a merry little Christmas. Thank you very much. Okay, I know who this is from. This is from Shannon in Canada. Canada. Yes. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Hanukkah. Rudy. Merry Christmas. Puppy stickers. Merry Christmas, fully living. I hope that you guys have a wonderful Christmas and an awesome new year. I also hope that Andrea's family has an amazing Christmas too. To Andrea, Hadar, Zeb, Raphael, Abigail, Kitty, and Rudy. We've got a pretty big family. Wishing you joy at Christmas and happiness in the new year. And really pretty, pretty stickers. Thank you. And happy Hanukkah. A dog. Puppy. Yes, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Fully living. I hope that you guys have a wonderful holiday. I also have, hope that Hadar's family in Israel has an amazing holiday too. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. And she drew a Hanukkah. Hanukkah. She drew it. Hope you enjoy Thank the holiday. Thank you very much. Yes. Here's a wish made just for you for happiness all eight days through. Hope you enjoy the holiday. I'm actually going to keep this one over there so when Hanukkah comes back around we can decorate again with that. We didn't decorate that much this year. We just oh, ate some gilt and had them. Too. Yeah, we just ate some gilt. The menorah. Okay. Hanukkah. This is from the Wilcox family. Wilcox? <laughs> That's a funny name for a family. Ooh, look at the inside. <gasps> it's got lights on it. Can I please touch it? Thank you. <laughs> Merry and bright. I want to touch it, Mommy. Hey, guys. I've been watching your channel for about two years now, and I love it. Okay, Hadar came in. I also live in Florida, soon to be moving to blank. Your kids are so adorable and smart and so fun to watch. I have a four-year-old named Jace, and we also have a cat named Kitty. What? Keep doing what you're doing. It keeps people like me busy. Keep in touch. Andrea, I know we have chatted before on Insta. Oh, okay. Insta short for Instagram? Yes. 
Sending you Christmas cheer that lasts throughout the year. Have a great holiday. Love, Emily, Jace, and Kitty. <laughs> very pretty. Thank you very much. And good luck with your move. That's very stressful times, but hope you have a good time there. We've actually been very near there, and I hope you enjoy it. It looks like a nice place to live. Okay, this is from out of the country, but I'm actually not sure what country, because it, it doesn't say. Who's it from? It doesn't say. Anonymous person? Anonymous? Probably not. It'll probably say on the inside. Ah, I gotta rip the card thing. Can I help gotta you? Gotta rip the envelope. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, it's Magnum. That is beautiful. From the Netherlands. The wow. Such beautiful handwriting. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. That's where the famous cat, I forgot who, lives. Abatutu. Abatutu. Okay. I enjoy watching your videos almost every night before I fall asleep. You bring so much joy to people. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Hadar. Thank you, Raphael. Thank you, Abigail. Beautiful handwriting and in cursive, too. That is yeah, beautiful. actually beautiful. Lots of love from Anne Mikey. Anne Anne Mikey. Anne Anne Mikey. Anne Mikey. That's a beautiful. I was inspired to write because of the latest mail vlog. Literally, <laughs> the latest one, the late one. This is beautiful. Maybe one day we can visit. The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Now, I, I used to work for a woman who was from the Netherlands, and her daughter, and I believe her son, also worked there, too. So, that was pretty neat. Okay, we have another one that is not from America. Alright, the kids just came in from playing, by the way, so they're, they're melting a little bit. <laughs> She's sweaty. Okay, so this one has no name on it. It is from a different country, uh, designed in Ireland. Can I be? Beautiful. What does it say? It's from SB in Ireland. To Andrea, Hadar, Raphael, and Abigail, wishing you all happy holidays and all the best for the new year. Thank you for providing such wholesome content. Thank you very much. And we love you too, SB. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and may your new year be filled with joy and happiness. With love and best wishes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Designed in Ireland. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, we have one more. Box? But I don't have your address. But thank you very much. We have one more, and this is from Andrea. Andrea Moore. Who's it? Who's Andrea Moa? Huh. A longtime subscriber friend, and she is the one who drew your pictures. Remember? Yep. So mommy's Andrea Lunford, and she's Andrea Moa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? <laughs> it's the same exact name, except it has to be in a different country. This has is to be. a Just has scene to be. from Israel. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. It's a scene from Israel. Can I open it? From when Jesus was born in a manger. Hold on, I'm gonna look at it. Oh, okay. that's great. And it's a very long note. Thank you very much. Hadar, Andrea, Raphael, and Abigail. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. I have enjoyed following along with your family throughout another year. I know I only get wee glimpse into your lives through the vlogs, but to me, it looks like the kids are growing up quickly. They are. You said Abigail two times. Did I? That's Andrea and Abigail. Hadar, Andrea, Raphael, and Abigail? Ah, okay. And it looks like the kids are growing up quickly. They seem to be happy, thoughtful, and well-mannered, and smart kiddos. What do you say about that? I say thank you a lot for all the compliments and for writing this note. Pretty right now. Also, it's from Israel. That's amazing. Well, this picture's from Israel, but she actually is in a different country. She's above us in Canada. Wow. Yes. Hadar, you appear to be caring, involved, and hardworking. Dad and husband, this is wonderful to watch. Andrea, as so many mothers are, 
You appear to be the glue that holds the family together. I know you struggle with your health and chronic pain. Don't give up. Jesus weeps with you as this was not the life we were meant to have, but is the result of sin in the world. Lean on Jesus for comfort and strength. I will continue to pray for you all, and I will continue to watch your vlogs. Enjoy this holiday season, and all the best in the new year to come. Love, Andrea from Canada. Thank you very much. Oh! She drew this! What? Wow! It's that's yes. beautiful. Pretty. It looks amazing. Wait, is it signed? Sorry. Original art by her. Thank you very much. And she's the one that drew your pictures of you and Abigail as a cat and a dog. Yep. The one we hung up. So, thank you very much. That's so awesome. It's very nice. Yeah, it is signed right here. Thank you. Even a cat. Kitty. Abigail went to go wash her hands. Now we will open this package. And now it is time to make supper. So I'm going to fry some sausage with some mushrooms and some of these hot peppers. This is our last of our hot peppers and I don't know if we're gonna have any more to harvest, but we've eaten them all and they haven't gone bad at all. I mean, that's just, those are really nice. <laughs> Literally organic. I got some more of these goat crumbles, goat cheese crumbles, amazing, delicious. The whole family loves it. Tomatoes. Got some nice lettuce from uh, four lettuce heads, it says. Hopefully it's nice. We got this at Aldi and should be nice and tasty. I wanted to get a really good one. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless you. All right, this is nicer than I expected. We got two of these. One of these I'm guessing is like endive and one of these. So some special lettuce. We're actually going to start growing lettuce and maybe we can get some special type of lettuce because all I've ever grown is like leaf lettuce when I was a kid. But the kids are going to have their own little garden of like just lettuce for now. And some of the stuff that we got for, uh, we got cat grass for the kitty. We got a whole tree that we can grow for a Christmas tree next year. And I got something else for them to plant, so I'll have to find that and put it all together. But I do want to start growing lettuce because it's like even the generic lettuce. We got some, I think it was on sale even for $1.65 and it's just a little tiny bag. I use one of those every time I make a salad, like one whole one. So, so it would be nice to have some nice lettuce for basically free. It just takes time. All right, so I got some, these are baby portabellas, but they were basically the same price as like white button mushrooms. They might even be, who knows. So we got sausage here with uh, hot peppers and Abigail wasn't too keen on that. So she's gonna get some of these with the goat cheese on it. That's what she wants for her dinner. All right, Let's zoom into this. Sausage peppers, salad, and mushrooms with goat cheese. Dun, 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 dun. Make it forks. Dun. All the kids at school went and did this to him. Yes. It's fishy. Uh, yep. Ah, don't put your tongue in it. It tastes like bread. Is it good? Bready fish. Bready fish. Awesome. You know, they're already kind of used to living in a different country. Ooh, it's 